Okay. Hi guys. Good morning. Um, Akumaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Here is my Twitter. As you can see, I, I presented here what I what I have for my Bitcoin. This is my okay. It's a bit stamp short, one hour. Okay. <clears throat> this is the. ABC correction and I think that we are now finishing okay let's take a look at the daily chart um, I tried to do a stream this morning but it went it didn't went the way that I had expected so uh, so then I'm, I'm recording this video to give you guys a a Bitcoin update and to give you guys what I think to talk again if you have watched my stream okay but if you haven't here you it's pretty much what I what I said that what I said there <clears throat> so I'm sorry here we have this sharp correction okay this is this is historical data now okay ABC don't need we don't need to discuss this is really difficult to be something else Okay, and then we have this whole structure here that's going sideways for months, yeah, for pretty much to pretty much the whole 2020. Oh Jesus! Oh, I'm going to the future. No, no, I'm I'm still in 2018. <laughs> so this whole sharp correction ABC here took like two months, right, from December to January, and this. The sideways sideways correction here is since February. Yes, this I'm sorry. This was December to February, and this one here is since February onwards. Yeah, since February it's going. It has been correcting. I don't think it has finished yet. Okay, it's it's what Bitcoin is telling us, right? So I have two possible scenarios. This is the daily chart. Okay, one possible scenario is this X, W, X, which I think is more likely, okay, uh, Y, because this would imply that we would have a, a nice price here, uh, a higher high, uh, the highest high of the year, okay, no, no, not the highest high of the year, because we have this, yes, but a new, um, a new local high right Lo local what i mean it's all those patterns here one pattern two pattern three patterns lower highs but then you would have a new local high okay and this would be a nice x you would have this a b c it's a expanded flat okay for this a b c and you would have this x nice okay um, this would give uh, some some uh, would give some food to the bears right they would have more uh, a nice price for them to dump not not uh, let's think about psychologically okay if we get to this point here okay which is by the way 50 percent 618 percent of the price of this wave here of this structure here w which i am which i labeled w okay X is normally 50%, 618, 7-8, 60%, okay? This is an X. The psychological thing about, be, uh, underlying this, this whole movement here would be that the whole market would say, uh, the, the, whole, the, the whole sentiment would be bullish, and then would have this, this dump here. And that's what the market uh, wants us to think, right? That the the market wants us to not that the market is a is a being but i'm sorry for the so the i am giving a, 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 a i am humanizing the the market but you understand me so the market it's trying to deceive us yeah? the the movements is it's it's asymmetrical it's chaotic yeah so we 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 think that we are going to this to 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 have a new 20k or 
21k or even higher but no then we don't we have this x this x denotes failure in imposing up okay that's why i think this is what is likely to happen on the other hand what i what i can see here let me take this ellipsis off. sorry on the other hand oh jesus i'm sorry guys <laughs> Okay. On the other hand, we have this pattern here that is really similar to what we have here. So we might just have tried to go upwards. Yeah, we might have tried to go and break this trend line. What we have here is a throw off. That means that or a bull week, uh, a bear week. I'm sorry, or a bull week. It's a bull week, right? Yes. It's a bull trap. Yeah. And then we are going down that's possible that's likely and we would continue going down in this falling edge okay yeah it's possible i see this pattern repeating itself again and again it's possible okay and then we wouldn't have this x here what we can do guys with the market is we can use the framework that we are using it's elliott waves principle we can use the framework and we need to be open-minded okay we need to be open to different things and open to new possibilities that we are wrong okay most of the time we are gonna be wrong because that's the that's the statistics telling us that okay you are <laughs> you are you are messing with something here that is out of control okay it's it's a dynamic system okay so you 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 are doomed if you are forcing your TA uh, if you are forcing your TA to the market because it's impossible yeah if you're expecting the market to, to do what you want it's when you it's when you get liquidated okay so that's why I'm expecting this kind of pattern here I am expecting this kind of pattern here I'm expecting this kind of pattern here I am expecting I am giving you guys polite guesses okay <clears throat> and this is this is my count now okay this is the 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 past the past is really easy to, to to do whatever we want here to say oh here we have uh, this beautiful wave going up oh seriously i i can't see that of course and the, the when you when we analyze the past it's so easy because we have the benefit of the hindsight right and now that we are judging this movement here we are we are assessing the data that we have here okay we can make a polite guess that we might go a bit higher or we might continue this this trend here this this clear pattern here of uh, up and down I, I won't even say anything about Elliott waves about it okay because I need to think about it What's, what would mean if we, if we have a, a pattern that is going up and down like here, okay? <clears throat> we need to be open, of course. So, this is my Bitcoin daily chart. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Let me, let me see the EMA, right? Uh, I like the moving averages. So, the 21, we have this cross here. We now try to break the 100 EMA but we just pulled back so the 100 ema is working as a support strong support as well as the 21 ema we had this cross here this cross here okay now to cross the 200 ema we would need more time yes we we have this uh the the, the we had one two three four we have been we had been for one two three four five six six days above the 200 ema but then we broke with this with, with this huge head candle rear and then we are now testing the 100 ema but so far we are pulling back okay i think that we are gonna have one more leg down trying to touch again the the, the 100 ema but we are gonna close above it okay we need to see this is yet to be confirmed okay this is the the moving averages okay let let's see the 
the weekly chart is pretty much the let's say we are sitting above the this trend line here which i think is important it's an important trend line for this whole movement and we are now crossing the 21 ema we are not above it the 21 ema was acting as a i'm sorry this is the weekly chart the 21 ema was acting as a support but now it's we, we cross it but of course we have plenty of time until we we have some kind of um i'm sorry for this noise oh shit i always forget to turn this thing off sorry guys okay so then we would pull back a bit i think that this is what's gonna happen okay uh let's see the 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 one hour chart here okay so this is what we have so far we have this whole thing here this motive down wave i i know if you have watched my previous video i said that i wasn't really happy with this thing here to call this thing one and i am not happy but the mark doesn't care about whether or not i'm happy right so then i am forced to be to call this one okay i was really 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 strong against it because i was i i see it as a as a fourth wave because look at the, at the, the similarity between this one and this one this was a fourth wave this one was a fourth wave so it's difficult but and i was naming this one this structure here the fifth wave but it's a truncated fifth okay no problem I changed my count a bit, but not as much as I would need to do uh, dramatic, dramatic changes. Okay, I think that we are in a pretty nice moment for Bitcoin. Why? Because we have crossed this 38, 20% of uh, of this wave four. Okay, we have crossed. We are now testing again. Okay, we have this clear A, B, C wave. Okay, just clear corrective ABC. Yeah, to finish the movement, or to finish, to correct this whole tree. Okay, since here to this tree here, we have, we are correcting this movement. This is the retracement. Okay, this, the beginning of the retracement we have here. Let me just adjust a bit. Here, until, uh, and then here we have the top. Okay, okay. And we are not, we have this target here, 50%. Okay, we might get there. Okay, um, if we use the fib, fib extension tool, let's use together from the top of this A, the, the, the way A, the A wave here. I'm sorry, I need to click again. A wave here to the bottom and then B here. We have a nice 127, 20% here at this, at the middle, between this 38, 30, 20% and 50%. So I imagine, and we almost touched it. Okay, we almost touched it. So we might have finished the, the correction, okay? And what we are doing here, we are waiting. Because when it's going up, it's gonna be strong and impulsive, right? As always it is. So I am proposing that we are now in the fourth wave inside of this fifth, this last fifth wave. This is this looks like a fourth wave, the price action, right? So then we would have a a, a last a one last leg here on two, and then we would get to this to we would hit those targets here that I'm proposing as uh, as targets if you want to consider laddering. I am being laddering since this target here since this since uh the 50 percent of this whole structure that we had before okay i have been laddering my buys but now i'm gonna put a lot of my my position here because we are in a fourth position we are in a in this fourth position of a higher degree retracing to the fourth position of a lower degree which is a guideline for us guys Okay, uh, a guideline in uh, a, gui a strong guideline for us, uh, the, according to the Elliott wave principle, is that a higher degree fourth wave is gonna be traced to the f to the fourth wave of a lower degree. 
okay and it's what's happening we are in this region here that is now the fourth wave of a lower degree and i think that we are going to visit those targets here and if we don't okay i have bought here above and then we are going to need to break this trend here but i think it's going to be easy to break it and challenge those algo targets here right minus 33 60 percent uh minus 33 minus 38 20 percent which if you look at it guys look how awesome it is let's take a look at this because this is really awesome uh, this is the beginning of this whole retracement, okay? This was almost 10k, and this is the bottom, okay? This is the bottom, well, a double bottom if you want, okay? I would like to put it here, I don't know. Right? Double bottom, yes. So here we have the bottom, okay? That, And then I, I use my retracement tool, not mine, but <laughs> you'll get the idea. The retracement tool swinging to from the highest point to the lowest and here we have the resistance right and the support yeah, 618 65 so we try to break it the 618 65 with this wave three and we are now retracing we broke this was this this box here is where i marked the 50 percent okay 50 percent of this whole motive impulse wave down here okay we tried to broke it once, and again, we have our wave B, where we had a pullback, but then we broke it with our wave C. And we are now testing, uh, we are about to test the 38, 20%, if we are to hit this 50%. So what do we see here? We see confluences, okay? Why? Because we have this 38, 20% resistance together with this 50% uh, retracement from this from this two low point here to this high here three okay so we have some confluences which gives us more uh, confidence that we are in a in a nice moment to start uh, a laddering buys okay this is my stop loss by the way this red line here i'm gonna put down below the region of this wave four okay below this i'm gonna put right here 7200 okay and then what is beautiful again is that we have those algo targets that is exactly almost exactly the same level of the 7860 percent of this whole retracement and one another algo target minus 33 20 percent at the 8870 70 percent and another one minus 61 80 percent at this at the 700 here right i'm sorry at the 100 percent so we have this whole movement is like we have a lot of confluence we have a lot of data showing a lot of data sorry showing us that we he, we have something here we have this target here we have this target here we have the a resistance together with this target a resistance together with this target and a, another resistance because this 10k here is going to be a a major resistance psychological resistance so that and there is what and this this 10k i think is going to be really important and um, i think it's going to be our one if if we get there this three this two and this four is yet to be placed i'm not gonna place it now okay beautiful isn't it beautiful we have a lot of confluence a lot of uh, a, a beautiful setup most of the time we what we are looking for it's a setup like this okay a setup that we have confidence we have confluence that the movement that we are gonna do uh, if we just place here like in target here the minus 33 six percent and this is where i said that I, i'm gonna put my stop loss look it's almost uh, it's a nine risk reward ratio beautiful risk reward ratio isn't it you can start taking your profit earlier it's not a problem okay what we are looking for is risk reward ratios that is good enough for us to take the risk okay so most of the time at least the way i trade i'm gonna be waiting i'm gonna be waiting for those moments oh but this is a wave four not all the traders like to trade a wave four i know why because waves four they are not the uh, 
they are erratic you can have a truncated fifth and you might have a, something like this okay so pretty wise to target something below the third wave okay if you want to start taking your profit take your profit below the third wave why because you have something called truncation what is truncation is when the fifth wave going up in this case okay when, when we finish this this correction here the fifth wave would fail to go beyond the level of the the, the third wave so it would go like would uh, get to the 8400 8400 or even less okay but then you you adjust your risk reward to account for this okay and take your profit earlier okay that's it so you, you, but if you are really confident that it's gonna get you minus 33 60 percent it's never it's we, we are never certain guys never that we're gonna get to 9k for instance yeah this is would be our first target here um but then you start taking your profit earlier and you you are you are far away from your stop loss if you see that this movement is going up right so then you don't have your stop loss you're gonna just manage your profit you don't have a stop loss not anymore you just have your profit and then you decide to take your profit to add more to your position okay to do the opposite of laddering to doing dollar cost average but you do the opposite you you add more to your position as it starts to going up okay uh, this is a beautiful moment for bitcoin i think because this is going to decide this is going to be a crucial moment if whether we are going up whether this is true or this is true what's gonna happen we are gonna dump more if we dump more and like really if we see that em this ema here that we touch the the 55 and the 21 start crossing back what i'm talking about guys if we see that this 21 ema start crossing down the 100 cross down if this 21 cross back here if we see something like this let me draw it okay if some we see, we see something this okay and then this is this cross like this of course this this would mean that we are not the, the, that this bullish momentum is lost okay that what's happening is that we probably oopsie i'm sorry what means is that we probably are gonna see this movement here okay so that's what i'm waiting okay and of course i am playing accordingly i i have my stop losses like i said and uh, if this is going to to dump uh, i'm gonna redraw I, i'm gonna rethink about this whole structure here react to the market i'm not expecting the market to be what i want i need to react according to the market so i'm gonna react i'm gonna reposition myself and i'm gonna start shorting okay beautiful i don't think we have a problem um we have time we we are not if you play uh one piece of device guys if you think that you're not trading to make one million dollars in one year because this is a recipe for a disaster in my opinion sorry lambos and moon guys out there that says that you can do that if you are a millionaire in one year you're not you are not the majority you are a, a you are actually one percent of percent one of one percent of a person one percent of a percent <laughs> and don't you think and if you if you keep tra if you keep trading the chances are that you're gonna lose everything okay because it's it's not me saying it's statistics just go and read about uh the wall street okay and crypto is not different not different at all just take a look at the the twitter and you're gonna see how the the all street stereotypes there it's so funny <laughs> but the crypto the, the crypto community has yet to learn a lot about it has yet to learn a lot about um 
how to be humble and how to be patient to wait for it it's not there is no easy path guys no easy path. there is no 2017 2017 was a really beautiful year for bitcoin for crypto but it's the market is not like that the market is not like that all the time okay we, we are not always in a bull market in a beautiful parabolic movement that it's so easy to make money and you have uh, all the gurus out there is saying to us things that works because of course everything works <laughs> if you say a, a coin is gonna go up tomorrow it's just <laughs> you, you have like 90 percent of chance that it's going to 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 be higher tomorrow uh, if you are in a bull market it's, it's just and and if and if you get your and if you are wrong you're not gonna lose money it's just a little bit of a uh, your chance of risk reward is way higher okay um so i'm sorry for this <laughs> i'm blabbering about it um so uh, that that's what we need to understand guys if you are here to be rich okay Let, let's face it to be rich one year in just one year um i'm sorry this is not the, this is not magic this is the market the chances are that you are going to lose money in one year, not that you're going to be rich in one year. OK, so my piece of device and this is not this is not me saying it. OK, plenty of different investors and traders have said this to me. Plan and act accordingly for more than one year, for 10 years, for 20 years trading. If you think about it, you are gonna trade for the long t for the long run, and you are going to be patient. You're gonna expect the right moment to enter. Don't you don't need to trade every day. Don't need to. You don't need to be blind by the small profits that you are making every day. Okay, and you don't need to be angry if you lose money because of your stop loss. Um, because you are you got out of a bad trade okay you thought that this was going up but this is going down but here you have a stop loss this thing is saving is is saving us right to lose a lot to get to the wrong side of the trade to to be trying to defeat the market you're not trying to defeat the market you're trying to ride the market to to follow the market okay and uh I'm, I, I pretend to be here in 10 years. I, I, I'm not gonna, I don't want to be part of the statistics of guys that lost everything in the, it just say bye bye, really <laughs> shy and saying, oh, I was successful, but then I lost everything. This is the majority guys. I was successful and then I lost everything. I don't want to be successful. I want to be consistent. I want to be consistent and shy <laughs> it's strange to say that i want to be the shy investor that guy that everyone looks at and say hey this guy there what he is doing oh he works there for 20 years you know he works there for 20 years who do you think has the the, the biggest portfolio go figure guys go read about the wall street and the wolves it's not as beautiful as you as the movies picture it N not at all okay um this is my message i think okay thank you <laughs> thank for watching guys um if you wanna see different a different kind of uh, analysis if you want a, a different chart please let me know give uh, send me a message here and those are my social media websites my twitter handle and i really enjoy that you guys are learning that you guys are following me and as always enjoy what you're doing enjoy your trades guys this is a beautiful moment for everyone bye bye cheers <laughs>